By the year 2030, California's population will increase by 30%, surpassing 50 million. Adapting will require highly efficient, safe and clean transportation alternatives that support our growing economy and protect our landscape and environment. This is California High Speed Rail. The governor and the legislature have seen the light on global warming. They've seen the light on energy efficiency. And that high speed rail, it would be a fundamental part of a package of infrastructure and policies to lessen California's impact on global warming, to lessen our impact on imported oil, and to improve our quality of life. Over the past four decades, high-speed trains have proven to be the safest and most reliable form of transportation in the world and are ideally suited for the unprecedented needs of California in the 21st century. Employing state-of-the-art technology and moving at sustained speeds up to 220 miles per hour, California High-Speed Rail will extend from Sacramento and the San Francisco Bay Area in the north to San Diego in the south. A trip from downtown San Francisco to downtown San Jose in a half hour. A trip from San Francisco to Fresno in under an hour and 20 minutes. A trip from San Francisco's Trans Bay Transit Center to Los Angeles' Union Station in just over two and a half hours, every time, regardless of weather. Uh, we want to succeed and we want to grow our economy. We want to be viable in the future. We're not going to be viable unless we have a world-class transit hub. Uh, we want to do uh, the finest intermodal transportation uh, hub uh, west of the Mississippi. Uh, we want the Grand Central Station on the west coast, and that's our Trans Bay Terminal. That, of course, must be anchored by this high-speed rail that connects not only the region to our downtown core, but connects the rest of the state. High-speed trains are a clean technology. Running on electric power, High-speed trains will help California meet critical air quality and CO2 standards, while also protecting our landscape by using existing right-of-ways and promoting sustainable development. High-speed rail uses a fraction of the energy of other long-distance transport solutions. Less than one-third as much energy as airplanes and less than a fifth the amount of energy used by people driving these long distances. So high-speed rail is, is clearly the, one of the best ways to reduce uh, greenhouse emissions in the state. We understand that a healthy economy and, and a green economy are one and the same, and high-speed rail is going to be an important part of that in California. Requiring no operating subsidy, high-speed trains will strengthen California's economy, creating as many as 450,000 new permanent jobs. Benefits will be immediate. Moving safely on improved separated grades, slated for construction over the next decade, California's rail and road network will be vastly improved. I believe we need to focus on the future. We need to focus on our next generation. Uh, what is our planet going to look like? How is our next generation going to get to work? We need to think about the benefits in the long term and not just today. To secure California's transportation future, the California High-Speed Rail Authority is acting now to preserve right-of-ways and complete engineering and environmental studies critical for building the system. The options are either expand the highways, expand the, the runways, and expand the airport gates, all at a cost of over $82 billion. We can build the high-speed train for half that cost. High-speed transportation is a essential element of ensuring that California is attractive to business people and to investors in businesses and to people who want to work in those businesses. I think it's going to be essential for our economic future of the Bay Area to have high-speed rail. The convenience is extraordinary, the competitive again, advantages of being able to have choice as it relates from moving north to south across the state is incredibly important. Uh, to focus on our environmental future in a substantive and meaningful way is incredibly important. Uh, this is really about the future, not only of the San Francisco Bay Area and Southern California, it's the future of the state, this country, in terms of its competitiveness. And this is a vision that we can manifest in our lifetime. Let's just get moving, let's build this high-speed rail.
High-speed trains are a clean, safe, and cost-effective alternative for the transportation needs of the California of the 21st century. It is time once again for California to innovate. It is time once again for California to lead the way. This is High Speed Rail.